this your first lesson on March 2nd, 2024. Uh, this the swing swings athletic. You're you're uh, we'll walk through it in detail, uh, but let's just let's just kind of play this thing through. So you have a, a reference. So you, you get pretty good action through, right? Just take it down and, and whack it. Okay. It is higher in the back end and the, the follow-up that I realize better looking. Okay, so here's his swing. Oh, boy. Now just just pointing out the first thing is see how see how the shaft stays pretty much parallel to these guide posts? Yes. So it's coming down. It's right in that. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Okay. Now, each time the shaft gets off, like, so, so it's, so it's pretty parallel. Okay. So this isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So see how it, it loses, it gets off being parallel here and yada, yada. So this isn't bad for, for someone that's, that really hasn't played much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually they come down way steeper and is a problem. So, okay. So, being on plane isn't a big deal for you. I'll show you. Okay. So, breaking it down itself is, okay, so so it's pretty much in that little envelope, which isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Not going to worry about. Okay, so let's tell you. That, so everything is pretty okay until we get here. And and the problem here is is every good player, whether it's Furyk swing, Hogan swing, Trevino, and everything, this is after the setup. This is the next important guidepost. Oh boy! Yeah. yeah. So so this this is the test. If if you know you're keeping this in on plane, okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to bog you down with any technical terms, but let's, let's say the pros have it. Okay, so that's where the shaft is. This is where yours is. Okay. If I was closer to this, I wouldn't even bring it up. This is drastically off, and, and I'll give you a picture of it. And so you can just print it out, put it on the mirror, get in his position instead of yours. But so he's basically got his club coming in lower at that point than I do. I'm up higher still. At a lower angle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now the main cause of that is you get kind of a baseball swing with the elbow. See how that elbow is pointed? Out here, it should be pointed down. See how this is vertical. So right. let me get rid of it. Let me put this on. Okay. See if this. That's more like skipping a rock. Are you forehand? His his lower body starts moving first. His hips. Finally, the last thing is his hands in the club. Right. Right. Okay. And he's looking pretty low on the ball too, but he's he's just look, gazing over his shoulder. It looks like. It. Yeah. No. He's, uh, he, he, at at the backswing, you only need it at your peripheral because the first move down is this. Now you got both eyes at it, so you you can lose sight at it. Okay. But if if you get your if you get your chin out of the way, so you can get the shoulder uh, under. Uh, then, then you have a better look. Okay, so you got that. Okay, so uh, 
face on, you've done a nice job of quieting the lower body down, and you really have kind of a putting stroke at, uh, at this point. Now, and, you know, there's no penalty for having your, your, uh, your chin buried in your chest because you're really not making a, a, a backswing. Yeah, exactly. So you haven't really bumped into that problem. But once, I mean, let's, let's be honest, you, you, you can't play golf from there. That, that's a pretty good spot if you're chipping. <laughs> yeah. But even chipping, you're using your lower body, okay? So, so, so the good news is it's, there's no swaying. The bad news is the shoulder, left shoulder never gets behind the ball. See this this guy, you can't see, and it's a it's a goofy angle. But that left shoulder is behind the ball here, so he's loaded up. So your hands don't have to be as high as the sky. That but that shoulder has to be behind the ball. Like you see a lot of hockey players, he may only take the John Rom only takes his hands up about here, but his shoulder's behind the ball. Yours is here. So so you you can't turn through. You'd be turning by the ball, and that's why you're topping. You're trying to turn it through, and, and you're 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 already by the ball like this, so, so that that's why you're topping. So so you got to work. We got to get the chin up, and even even you know we'll go through this uh, after I finish the recording. Is get the chin up out of the way, and Nicholas actually preset it like just turning 15 degrees gives that shoulder a chance to get under. Okay. So, I mean, it looks like his head is almost down further than mine, but you can't see because of his head. No. Yeah. yeah, right. His eye line is still above the ball. Yours is inside the wall. Okay, so, so now, with that backswing, you can't possibly... But see, see, you don't have a flat spot in that hitting area, like... So, so you got kind of V there. So it's only in the hitting area for a short time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe a, like a half, half a second or something, as opposed to if, if you get behind the ball here, look, I've got my flat spot is like a foot or two. Yeah. So it's in the hitting area for a foot or two as opposed to half an inch. Makes my, my strokes more difficult. <laughs> And 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 and, and um, yeah, uh, uh, much more le less consistent for sure. Yeah. So so V versus a longer flat spot mm -hmm. is is gives you better distance, better control, and better consistency. So you want a flat spot. So I mean, you can see his. He's not flipping. He's. He's in the hitting area right there. See, it hasn't hit. The club head never passes his hand. See that? Mm -hmm. So that's like a, a flattened U even. You have a V. Right. right. So so we want to create a flat spot and, and, and a, a better, better backswing because you've done a nice job of quieting the lower body. Excellent job, but that's that's not a... That's not really a golf swing. Now, let me stop.